So where are we off to today, Katie? What are we doing? We are heading off to St. Patrick's School to meet with Brother Colin. Okay, and what's significant about that? <coughs> uh, the kids are off school. No, I'm joking. Uh, Brother Colin, what do they call him? Like the, the, the Godfather. The Godfather of Kenyan, Kenyan running. running. Um, so he came over here as a priest, and uh, the uh, was it the athletics coach just kind of tossed in the keys. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll learn a little bit more about that story today. Yep. But St. Patrick's is historically home of champions. Yep, so lots of uh, of the students have turned into champion runners and uh, have lots of accolades. So there's a museum, we believe, at the school. So uh, I'm sure Brother Colin will take us around and showcase some of the athletes that he's coached and that have gone on to win medals and titles and all greatness. <laughs> Here to learn about athletes, but see puppies. <laughs> Hello. Is it awkward, the camera? Hello. Not camera shy, are you, mate? <laughs> When you see it on TV, you don't get any idea of how high somebody jumps. Now, this is a schoolboy, remember? <laughs> how old is he when he jumped seven feet? Huh? What was his age when he, when he jumped? 18, feet? maybe? Yeah. yeah. Nice. He was the first Kenyan to jump seven feet. Oh, really? First Kenyan, now, including even seniors. Wow. Yeah. But also the style of judge. Still very Not high. Not very high. high. Still very high. <laughs> now, <laughs> I suppose when you compare it to the Duplantis, it's just looking at six. Oh, no, wow, look. Yeah. yeah. That's like what Duplantis can do. <laughs> that's his world record. That's just scary, that's, isn't it? See, that's the thing, you're right, on telly. This one, I think, is the same age as myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he went here. Yeah. 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 Not to school yet. They're all part of my program. Ah, part your program. Because I expanded my program after 14 years. Okay. I expanded the program. Mm -hmm to the local schools and started coaching in the local schools. Right, okay. Yeah, I met Paul in London uh, a couple no. months ago. Did you meet him? Yeah, he, he was um, racing at one of my club's events and it just so happened that I went for dinner with him one evening. One is wrong. Or they change it to the right. They put up a new one, that one. No, it's okay. That one was the wrong record. You can see there was a change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the school was starting first, we were only just school boys. We didn't really move up the line till much later. These were these were just old boards that were displayed in the school, so we just brought them down here. They're not they're the kind of a, a repeat of what you've seen over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Wilson was the world record holder before David. It was his record, yeah. Steve yeah. Steve mm -hmm. Brown, yeah. He's a bit greyer than that. And now. you might recognise Peter Elliott, two British champions. Barcelona. Uh, yeah. So, just a sketch of a few girls. But the first programme that was put in place, there's a school just down the road called Singori. And I started there in 1979 and we produced the first world champion. Sally Barsocio in 1997. We had three famous girls here. Vivi, you hear Vivi and Shabir? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's Vivian as a little school girl. Dennis showed us yeah. her house. Yeah. We drove past it. Vivian and Juliet and Viola Kibiwat and Sally Kibiego. At that time, they were, the three of them were three world junior champions, under 20. 
when the forty one hours coach you know. Was it difficult for women to get into sport here than before? Not so easy now. Oh like not so difficult now. It's very easy now. But I mean before oh, in the good old days, oh there was taboos of course. Yeah. Girls weren't allowed to run, they weren't allowed to use shorts, they weren't allowed to they were, they were getting married by the time they were seventeen, eighteen. As Wilson kept out in one of his visits. Eventually agreed to go, but it was only almost by accident because I normally don't go. I just told yeah. you yeah. I wouldn't go to such a thing. But for some reason, uh, Radisha rang me and said, "Oh, they would really like you to be there." <laughs> so I said, "Okay, okay." So. And then you won the award. And Wilson appeared. And Wilson, I was there for two days in the hotel in Monaco with him, and he never said a thing. And he knew. <laughs> he knew. Thank you. Did you see Austin, 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 yeah. About to fall down. But those days you didn't mind, you just knew they were place. Uh, there it is, when it's first built. Same house. Okay. So. It's a chair here. Yeah. I'm a signatory to school accounts. Okay. So you can't do anything without me. <laughs> I can cripple the whole system. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's okay, so we, 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 we just, when they're finished here, we'll have a pen. Don't worry. With the block, with the, the brick buildings, was the O level. And then up here, with the blocks, with the A level. When the A level was added, they, which there used to be a fence mm. along there. So the A level students and the O level students, there was a bit of, not separated, they could play CD together and play games together. And probably the final kind of distinction in the two between A level and O level. Yeah, but not, and the only entrance was where you came in down at near my house. Not even up to date. So that's he only has one Olympic there and only one world title. He has two of each. <laughs> they should add another one. Mm. How is it? That's it. Well. <laughs> very simple, very small number. And uh, it was mm -hmm. in our time you can see actually it was, it was added mm. recently. And here's the thing about students that we don't have now. You stood on your number. Yeah. Every student had a number. Yeah. So you can easily see who's missing. Uh, oh. <laughs> so where's the gap? Very shiny. Uh, yeah. You can't imagine being Olympic champion, world champion, top of the world, and you live in this simple little place. Keep them grounded is the motto. Makes sense. He lived in there for 12 years. Dave Rudisha, yeah? In that little room. Yeah. And watch television there. And everything. This was his own. We've lived our lives together in a sense. We've gone through the successes and the failures, the difficulties and, and the challenges. And David is somebody who...